If a hundred pound for Newton force is applied to the handles of the pliers, determine the clamping force because they're on the smooth pipe B and the magnitude is on the force at pin A. So we put a hundred pounds here, hundred newtons here, and what's happening at B? Let's draw a free bite diagram with just this lower uh, handle. So it looks something like this with points A, B, and 100 newtons straight up. Okay. Now at A, we had two reactions, a horizontal and a vertical. At B, we have a perpendicular force. So force at B. So let's sum the moments about A to get the force at B. So to sum the moments about A, we've got 100, and that's causing rotation this way, so it's negative. And it's got a length of 250. And then if we have FB, which causes rotation this way, so it's positive, and it has a length of 50 meters, or 50 millimeters. And that equals zero. So FB equals 500 newtons. Now let's sum the forces in the x direction. So here's AX. So we have AX minus. So we're breaking this FB into components. The x direction will be, <coughs> see that is a 45 degree angle, so that's a 45 degree angle. So AX is <coughs> 0.707 times 500, which is uh, 353.5. Uh, so that equals zero because there's no other x's. So AX equals 353.5. Some of the forces in the Y, we have AY here, and then we have the X component, Y component here, which is the same since it's a 45 degree angle. So we have AY plus 353.5 plus 100 equals zero. So AY, that's up, that's up. So AY is obviously going to be negative down. So 453.5 down. Let's turn that little arrow around. And so the force at A equals the square root of 353.5 squared plus 453.5 squared which equals 575 newtons.